I am Austin Maine, and this is Beautiful Brenda, and this is our science lab. Today we are going to answer a subscriber's question. That's right, Brenna. The question is, why is it hotter in St. George in Utah than in Salt Lake City in Utah? To answer the question, we will need something that can represent the Earth. This balloon will work. And something to represent the sun, we have a flashlight for that. It's like the silver pips. First mark around the balloon where the equator would be, right in the center of the balloon. And all the way around, like we have done here. Now shine your flashlight so the light is right on the equator and have someone draw a circle where the light is. You can see that the circle is pretty perfect. This, this is the direct sunlight that hits the earth at the equator. Then shine the light a little higher and have someone trace the circle again. Notice that this time the circle is misshaped. That's because some of the light takes longer to get to the balloon, hitting it at a higher angle. The circle was right here, and then when Brenda moved it, it became whoop. Welcome to Aiden Science Park. This is the same thing that happens on Earth. The warm sunlight that reaches into Salt Lake comes at an angle. This causes the same amount of sunlight to cover a larger amount of area, causing the area to be colder. Cooler. <laughs> In St. George, the angle is a little less, making the same amount of sunlight cover less area. And at the equator, the sunlight is almost always overhead, making the same amount of sunlight cover a much smaller area. And so the equator is very hot. If you have questions you would like us to answer, please leave a comment. Also like this video and subscribe to our channel. Bye, have a nice day.